Hmm. Still snowy. Very good. Very good. Hello again, everyone. It's me again, Black Knight, your CEO in pajamas. Yes. Secretary is ripping into somebody. That's all really well and good. And for today's episode of CEO in pajamas, we're going to take a look at a couple things here on the old computer. Not that computer, this computer. For you see, after the previous complete debacle here in uh, CEO in pajamas, not the last one where I was completely eviscerated by a an armored limousine with a machine gun, but the uh, the one before that where I just completely mishandled an airplane and crashed it into the ground before ever dropping off a single car piece of cargo, I decided that the only way I was ever going to see the new CEO garages or do the vehicle missions was if, uh, well, if Santa were to arrange for a rather nice gift of some sort of shark card. So that's what we've done here today, ladies and gentlemen. We went on actually to Rockstar Warehouse, which is a, a nice website here. We'll put a little thing here. Not getting any payment for this because I think I averaged, what, about five hits a video? Is that about... That's what we're pulling down about right now? Karina, what are we pulling down on the, the website? On YouTube. She's on the phone. I don't think she can hear very well with that ear anyway. So, what we're, we're going to do is we did is we, we ordered it from the, the old uh, Rockstar Warehouse. How you doing? Busy. And uh, the nice thing about that is, is, as you may well know, that right now Rockstar is running a special where you get an additional 30 or 35 percent or 50 percent depending on what card you get so when i ordered the uh, the card from rockstar warehouse that came that came as a separate code they gave me I, I ordered a whale card and i got a whale card and a shark card now i'm curious will i get any bonus money from those or was this taking into account because that's rockstar warehouse and not directly from the social club that, you know, this is, here's your bonus money. You'll be the right amount of bonus money. So if I don't get anything additional, I will be happy. But I'm, I'm just curious as to how that will work. Uh, we'll see how things go. And I'll keep you abreast of that. But the nice part about it is I didn't have to wait for another, you know, 72 hours to get the bonus money. I've got all of it. So now we can go wild. That's right. Wild here on Christmas. Let's grab... We'll, We'll use a little laptop, because what the heck, we've got the laptops, and a stack of money next to it, so we'll scooch in here in our pajamas, and get onto the laptop. Now, what we're looking at, we want to go first to the Dynasty 8 executive site, and let's do an upgrade. We want to get the 20, uh, the 20 car garage. I'm not going to go crazy here. I mean, 20 cars... Should be enough for me to do most anything with. We're not going to do any upgrades. Let's see. I'm, you know, let's see. Interior. I'll tell you what. You don't get a good feel for any of this until you actually, you know, get it done. And you look at this. What's the What's the difference? You know, it's. How do you get back to the. See, now I, how do you get back to it? You want to do it to. You have to click here. That's, that's the original. So that looks smoother, I guess. This looks a little more beat up. We're going to go with the beat up cheap. I think beat up cheap. We can always upgrade it later on. You can always upgrade the look later on. And if I'd, if I'd gone with the basic, I would have been much happier with my apartment up there in the cliffs. As opposed to taking the vibrant route, which I now regret. So we're just going to get one. We don't, we're not going with the custom auto shop now because that will be... Rather expensive, I believe. <laughs> Not sure exactly what that costs. Is that coming up? Did that just just happen? I mean, yeah, it's like to do this. Now, uh, yeah, let's just let's just buy the basic for right now. We're gonna get that garage, just one A. Purchase successful. Blah blah blah. Return them. We're gonna go back out of the map here. Now that we have that, we need to go to the other computer. Now that we have a place to park. See that I neatly put the chair back in. That's because I'm a considerate CEO in pajamas. 
Although you would have known that when I had a complete meltdown at the end of the last video. Again, my apologies to anyone who was offended by that complete meltdown after 40 minutes of struggling and then getting completely gunned down by an armored limousine. <laughs> I usually do feel pretty bad about that, but that's, you know, sometimes you're in the moment, you know. These things happen. All right, we're going to log into the Securo serve. Vehicle cargo. You need to buy a warehouse. That's the cheapest one. Let's see. Basic, urban, or branded. Hmm. I'm thinking basic. We're a bunch of uh, a bunch of thieves here. That's um, slightly neater, but I think we. I prefer. I prefer the basic. Believe it or not. Are you sure you want to spend that much okay, money? Okay, you've got some space. Now you can move cargo. Click on the green button, Source Vehicle, and we'll search the system for an appropriate car. Soon after that, the details will come through by text. Then it's just up to you to get the car and bring it to the warehouse. Be on the lookout for rival organizations trying to hijack your vehicles. And know that you can intercept organizations moving cars, too. Okay, so now we can... We want, do we want to source one now? An Entity XF. Wow. That is, that was my car. Am I stealing my own car here? No, plate wide Did boy. I mention that I have an MBA? Only 75 times today. Okay, so this is going to be a medium level thing here. Let's see. Office Garage 1. We have nothing in the Office Garage 1 yet. Soon. Uh, exit via vehicle. Now we're just going to exit to ground and we're going to... We're going to walk across the street, I think. And pull down something fast. It looks like this vehicle's been involved in something pretty nasty. Go to the crime scene, pick it up, and bring it into the warehouse. Oh, okay, we just have to steal it from the police. That's great. Oh now, God. normally you'd say, well, are you going to grab the Entity X... Not the Entity X, the, the RE7B, which is the fastest car in the game for track. But it gets its, its traction from speed and downforce as opposed to just sheer traction. So we don't want to use that one, especially in the snow. That could be a real liability in the snow. Come on. Why are we staring at the screen here? This is just a little freaky. Uh, I think we're in trouble. Maybe you can't go... Once you're outside, you can't go back inside? Something going on here? We are totally glitched out. I need a car. Hello? Hello? Um, we'll do the time warp again. Hope for the best. Okay, it's not completely froze up because I can see things. Where are we going? Maybe we'll, we'll kill some time here. Well, that's unpleasant. It's a pretty far drive. And it looks like we need to say uh, maybe you don't want to uh, go inside once you source a vehicle. All right, so we're stuck here, so we're going to have to leave session. Because that's not working. Okay, so now we're going back into a new online session. We'll see how this works. It may work, it may not work, it may not be a very good thing. But we'll give it what we call a shot. First shot here. We're in the, we're of course in the new pajamas that you can keep with the smoking jacket and a nice pair of jogging pants and flip-flops, which is exactly what you want to do. That's what you want to wear if you're if you're stealing a car. And that may, especially if it's snowing out. 
But, uh, of course, we're CEO in pajamas, so that's how we roll. If it ever loads. Why am I having so much difficulty? I did get a new modem in from Comcast. I think that's tomorrow's plan. i load that puppy up and see if some of this goes away. No, come on now. Still loading. And you took a nice nap. Fine. Okay. Well, we gotta go back out. Cruising with two Anything and a half. You need, boss. Anything? Ah, I didn't mean to scare you there. Just checking your internet or something. You know, like, where did my chair go? Did I, I? I had a chair. Seriously. Well, what happens if I try to? Um. I have a public session, right? Oh, come on. Think about it. Let's, let's do this, players. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in a session. I can't, I can't use the computer. Um... All right, this looks like it could be a rather short edition of, uh... Okay, I'm gonna come back, go in here. When I come out, I expect there to You're be a chair. Very sharp, boss. Did you take my chair? Oh, hi. Chair. Have a good day. Doesn't hear good from that area either. Oh, well, you know, you'll have this. I come back around, and it's back! No, it's not. That was just the monitor. Okay, no, there's no... We got no functionality here, folks. Okay. Try this again. Leave GTA Online. Okay, here we are in a new session. Hopefully this session has a chair. There's the boss. And we have a chair. Can I use your computer? What's this? Is going to have a... What is going on here? Press E to sit down. I'd love to. So the entire criminal organization here has been completely shut down by the fact that I have no chair. I, I mean, I got, I got nothing here. This is bizarre. Okay, I'm going to try unloading the game altogether and see if that takes Listen, gets rid of this problem. You realize about my MBA, don't you? Oh, earn the MBA. And here we are once again in our office. And the chair has returned. All right, all we have to do is completely reload the game. Do do do. Snuggle up here. Log in. Vehicle. Here's the vehicle cargo summary page. It's a rundown of the organization's activities in the market. If you want to move to a warehouse in a different part of the city, click on the vehicle warehouse map link at the top of the page, and you'll get a fair trade in price for your current property. No, and if you want to start sourcing vehicles, you click that green button there. Lastly, you can click Renovate Warehouse if you want to change the look of the place. Okay, again. X80 Proto. Top range. Future 3. So this could be unpleasant. Anything you need, boss. Okay, this time I'm not going into my garage in the next area. We're going to exit to ground. And I think this time I'm going to call up the Shotaro. Just in case I have to race this guy. I could see something like that, you know. Your personal vehicle has been destroyed. You can... How... I didn't have one out. What got blown up? Mutual, how can I be of service? 
My Tampa? When did they blow up the Tampa? Uh, well, that'll be at the depot. We're not getting that. We're gonna... With the actually now you know with the amount of explosions. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. Let's bring around uh let's bring around the insurgent and just park it in the garage. We don't know, maybe we should do that. I'll get there as soon as I can. I'm thinking with all the stuff expl there's a tank. Of course there's a tank. And I went back inside. I didn't want to go back inside. I want to go to my vehicle. Where did he put it? Where did the silly man put it? Now, how are we going to pull this off? Maybe we're not. I mean, it's our first try here. At least there's no investment on this. Now, uh, guys, is it moving? Where's the car? That's a pretty long drive. We'll do the time warp again until such time as it looks interesting. Ooh, just quickly, I went to turn that on and I drifted into the oncoming lane. Uh, see, kids, that's why you shouldn't do distracted driving. I mean, the stuff that could go on is just terrible. And, oh, here we go. That's back in our own lane. Because this comes down to a race. I do not like my chances here. Amateur took the car. Now they're leading a trail of cops around the city. They're gonna have to get the car off them and bring it in. How in the heck? Okay, first of all, this could get really interesting because of what? Snow. Oh well, we're probably only gonna get killed. It really is an amateur. A nice car. All right, but we need to do this. I am trying to help you guys, you know. Now I'm kind of glad I'm in the insurgent because. That's apparently becoming an important thing. No, we don't want to blow it up. Me or him? Okay, we got snow to our advantage here. We're about to lose... No, we're not. We're not going to lose the helicopters because this guy is too stupid to run to the tunnel. Just have to shoot the guy in the head. Well, this is one of the top tier cars, I guess. Exactly jump out of this insurgent right now.
This is this is not an easy deal. Now you hit him a couple times. And I'm shooting the crap out of the car, but I don't see a way around that. Oh, you're kidding. Back we go. All right, well, that might save us some time down the road. <sighs> Did we get him? We got him. Do it. Do it to it. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Out. Okay, so we've stolen the proto. I hope this has bulletproof tires. Oh dear, you know what? This thing is not good in snow. But it is quick. Man, it's so low. There we go. Okay, as long as we can pace this a little bit. Okay, how far back are the police? We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Well, yeah, that's why he didn't want to go in the tunnel, you know? Well, we're gonna go somewhere completely different. We've... See, there was a trick! Haha! <laughs> we need to find a way up into the hills. We need to literally head for the hills. It seems like a bad plan, but it's not. Alright, that was a bad plan, but... Can they see us? They claim to see us. Do not get this one stuck up in the hills like you always do. Okay, they're blinking. They're winking and blinking. I don't know if they can physically get to me. Yep, they can get to me. There's always somewhere to go. If I don't get shot. Not the insurgent, is it? No, we're gonna lose a lot of money on this. We got an open road. We're almost back where we started. in the X80 Proto, one of the fastest cars in the game. Okay. Brakes. They see me. I don't know how they see me. Can I hide this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Not this again. Get away from me. 
So here we got an idiot trying to blow us up. This is not an insurgent. Okay, so we killed the other player. They won't let me in my house. Come on! Let's run away again. Another idiot! Trying to kill me. At the, we're at the other end of the universe here. We're up in Polito Bay. We're up in, you know... And I've just got to outdrive everybody. Well! Let's see what we can do. Come on! Speed! Let's do a Dukes of Hazard move. We'll take the dirt road. Can we? All right, here's a question. Do it. All right. The bribe authorities. Cost 15,000. Oh goodness. I got rid of the authorities and now someone's coming at me with a rocket launcher! What the heck is that?! I'm gonna die. We got a jet on my case. Respawn. Uh, listen, uh, give Do we have... Stop it, Lester. You uh. Can't get them all, can you, boss? Come back and log on to Secure Serve if you... All right, so she calls me. That's great. I get a call from the assistant and I couldn't shoot. I need more ammo. Where is that fool? I'm taking out someone's personal vehicle. <laughs> That oh, was great. It was a police car. I thought it was a personal person. There. It's... So, what have we learned? What we learned is we can expect the same kind of crap from these CEO missions that we get from all the other CEO missions. He can't even see him. Fine, we're gonna do it this way then. Where is this guy? He's somewhere in that range. Oh. 
Oh, there he is. There you go. And let's do this. Yes, that was bitter. I'm wondering if I just burn it down a little bit, if it doesn't really blow it up. Will I get the credit for that? You go up the top here. Now, where is... Where is... What's his name? Oh, he's shooting at me. Let's get out of his angle. There he is. I hit him. That's a check. It's a dead check. Just for good measure. And coming back for more. What's this now? You got me. You're dead. Alright, let's let's take everybody off. I did. They came to the top of the uh, thing here. I shot them. I wasn't recording at the time. Keep him busy while I and now we're surrounded by police. My hands in the air. Let's go. Come on, Dark Eternity. On my mark. Go guns blazing. I was born ready. Who got me? I just died. Listen. Well, okay, well I got got Dark Eternity a couple more times. And then um then the police came for me. Let me get it all on video. Having some frame rate problems. Probably running low on hard drive space, so we're gonna have to cut things a little short here, I think. But on this note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I think we know exactly how these missions are going to go. This is Black Knight CEO in pajamas. Have a great night. <laughs>